Putin can end this war in five minutes on his own. Sikorsky urged not to force Ukraine to negotiate with Russia. The best scenario for ending the war in Ukraine is not negotiations with Russia, but an increase in military aid to Kyiv so that the country can regain all the territories captured by the occupiers. The aggressor must understand that he will not be able to win. Polish Foreign Minister Rudosław Sikorsky said this during a geopolitical dialogue under the auspices of foreign policy. The head of the Polish Foreign Ministry recalled that Russian dictator Putin can stop the war in five minutes. To do this, he should order his Minister of Defense, or other aggression, the aggressor country to withdraw all its troops from Ukraine. At the same time, Ukraine does not have the opportunity to end the war like this, because we did not start it, and we did not send our troops anywhere except to protect our territories. The Polish Foreign Minister added that Russia cannot be trusted, because in 2004 Putin signed a bilateral agreement with Ukraine, and now he himself is violating it. Sikorsky also added that Russia's war war against Ukraine is colonial in nature, which can last for years until Moscow realizes that the beginning of its aggression against its neighbor was a mistake. Probably, the Russians are already reaching such a point, but they still have to understand the unacceptability of the price. That is why the war continues. It may take a few more years. If it ends earlier, it will be a bonus. The sooner we convince Putin that he cannot win, the sooner this war will end. But we should not tell Ukraine what to do until Ukrainians return all the occupied territories. Because what the Russians are doing in these occupied territories, we would not tolerate in our countries. If you say we have to negotiate, it means we have to allow Putin to ignore the deal he made and trust that he won't violate the New Deal. In my opinion, it doesn't look reliable. Meanwhile, Russia's losses and the price it pays in the war in Ukraine amounted to 1,200 occupiers per day from July 3rd to 4, and in total, since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, the aggressor has lost about 547,470 soldiers. Regarding the calls of the countries of the Global South for territorial concessions on the part of Ukraine, Sikorsky noted that Ukraine has the right to maintain internationally recognized borders. And even if the government ever decides otherwise, it will be our business, the business of Ukraine and our Right. Sikorsky recalled that India, which is also trying to impose Ukrainian negotiations with the Russian Federation and concessions, has its own border disputes with Pakistan and China. I do not see that in any future India intends to cede its own territories, despite the fact that there are some border clashes and manifestations of terrorism going on. Ukraine has the right to preserve internationally recognized borders, he stressed. Who will replace Biden? And what are his chances of defeating Trump? None. Until the end, Biden promised that he would not withdraw his candidacy from the election. In addition, the media learned that Biden announced the successful completion of a medical examination. Everyone cares about how he feels, whether he has dementia or not, said Karine Jean-Pierre, the White House spokeswoman. U.S. President Joe Biden has promised to stay in the presidential race until the end. That's right, you see, I'll go and not submit. He stated this during telephone conversations with representatives of the headquarters and during a meeting with lawmakers and governors from the Democratic Party. And this is what we are informed by Politico and Reuters. They cite their sources from Biden's team. The interlocutors noted that Biden joined the conversation with concerned members of his campaign team. He said that he was not going to withdraw his candidacy, he would not go anywhere, period. U.S. President Joe Biden has promised to stay in the presidential race until the end. He stated this during a meeting with his headquarters and lawmakers from the Democratic Party. That's right. Although the interlocutors note that Biden has joined the conversation with concerned members of his campaign team, but he will not go anywhere. Meanwhile, they continue to analyze the results of the debate that took place last week, which we saw, as a result of which several media outlets immediately began to speculate about who could replace Biden if he did not make it, because he himself realized that he could no longer do it, but we see that he wants, although perhaps not to the end, not Michelle Obama, exactly. It became known who the White House considers the best candidate to replace Biden if he refuses to vote. The White House, as well as the U.S. Democratic Party believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is the best alternative to 
replace Joe Biden if he decides not to run for president. In the United States, a woman has never been elected president. What is rights? Citing sources in Biden's entourage, the White House and the Democratic National Committee. Journalists say that Harris has the highest recognition among all alternatives and the highest rating among Democrats, who can be seriously considered as a candidate for the presidency of the United States. According to Reuters, some influential Democrats have proposed California Governor Heavy Newsom, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro as alternatives to Biden. According to the interlocutors, 59-year-old Harris, if nominated as the Democratic candidate, will receive the money raised for Biden's campaign and inherit the infrastructure of his election campaign. According to Reuters polls, Harris is just one percentage point behind Trump, from 42 percent to 43 percent. Accordingly, which is the difference within the survey margin of 3.5 percent points. In addition, sources said that she has already passed the national background check and has experienced intense scrutiny from Republicans, and a number of influential Democrats believe that Harris can defeat Trump if Biden backs down.